What's going on guys? What's up? I'm Zarina. And I'm Anthony and welcome to Meet, Meet the, Kings. the Kings. So today we're going to be doing the Never Have I Ever Challenge. Yep. So. And we're going to see how this goes. So. Okay, <laughs> so we're going to start with the questions. So. Okay, so never have I ever sneaked out of the house when younger. That's an easy one. Who hasn't? Who hasn't? I have. <laughs> Sorry, mom and dad. <laughs> just a couple times, I just, you know, mm, open the door and walk out, you know? <laughs> <laughs> well, I never had that. All I have to do is just literally just walk. But well, actually, actually, you know what happened? One time, I never actually kind of sneaking out of the house. What happened was, oh, so we live in an apartment, and what we did now, I went next door, literally right in front of my door. I went to my next door's neighbor's house. And I was there until like two o'clock, two, three o'clock in the morning. My dad and my stepmom was like frantic and they're all looking for me. So I could, that's like one of the only stories I have when my parents are actually looking for me. Okay. Mine hasn't gone that far, but um, the time when we got the alarm put on to the house, <laughs> so anytime you open the door, there was no way I could have sneaked out after that. So. Oh, you got that. Yeah. But anyways, <laughs> next one. So. Moving on. Never have I ever stabbed somebody. <laughs> oh man, who, who stabs people? <laughs> I have not. <laughs> I have. <laughs> who have you stabbed? All right, okay. You're so a criminal? No, it's not like that. So okay, this is a story that goes way back like grade, literally grade two. I'll never forget the story. It's like, yeah, I just moved to this new neighborhood and um, Back when I used to live in Jamaica, and we're in class sitting down, and this kid all sitting beside. Like, I don't really know him, like you know, I'm new to the school. I don't really know him, and all of a sudden, I'm sitting down, you know, in class, listening to the teacher doing my work, and then all of a sudden, he just comes, boom! I'm like, what the hell? Because you know, I didn't notice what was going on at the time. So I'm like, why did you hit me? Then I looked in my hand. The man stabbed me with his pencil. Okay. So when he stabbed me with my pencil, I'm the type of person that I don't hit somebody first, because I'm not the type of person to go hit somebody. But if you do me something then my mind's completely different. Now, if you do me something, I'm gonna come after you. So after he stabbed me now, I'm like, what the hell? So then, you know what? I sharpened my pencil, I sharpened that as sharp as I get to the point, so the point was so sharp. And when he's not paying attention, I went back to him, I walked over and I stabbed the I stabbed him, put it that way. So that's the reason I stabbed him. I didn't go and stab him first. You know, he stabbed me first. What grade was that? Grade two. Oh, wow. I never, because I just went to that new school and I didn't know anybody that much. For your children, okay? <laughs> Anyways, right, moving on. never have I ever farts in public and someone <laughs> smelt it. Uh, um, I have. <laughs> Man, listen. Okay, you know what? It's a natural thing to do, okay? It's a natural thing to do. But this guy is on a different level. <laughs> on a different level. Well, well, that will be a next video. Yeah, that will be going for next video. We'll talk about that one after. Never have I ever cheated on a significant other. <laughs> so we did that before. <clears throat> I have. <laughs> You're bad yourself too, like yo, you're bad yourself. <laughs> oh boy. You look at me. I have. Years ago. It's not good to cheat, guys. It's not good to cheat. <laughs> I felt so bad that I had to confront and, and let them know that I cheated. Um mine was different circumstances. <laughs> yeah. You kept it to yourself. <laughs> But yeah, cheating is bad, okay? It is bad. Anyways. <laughs> Never have I ever been kicked out of a bar or a club. <laughs> Does it say how much times? <laughs> have you really mad? <laughs> oh, I have to. I'm pretty sure that was just one your story. I was I'm not gonna say which place it was, but um, okay. So really, what happened is that I was 
at a party with my girlfriend and the lineup was so long for the girls washroom and I really needed to use a washroom so the boys washroom was really short there was like nobody in the men's washroom so, so, so hold on you're trying to tell me you went to the men's washroom and skipped up for that? yeah but okay that's yeah you that's your decision. I went into the men's washroom not knowing that I'm like okay I'm cool so I can walk in and use a washroom and you know whatever but when I walked in not knowing that the security guard was in the men's washroom washing his hands and I didn't know he was a security <laughs> guard because he didn't have on like one of those security like big security shirts it was like more like a little tiny one on the left so I didn't see I didn't know so anyways I walked in he's like what are you doing I'm like I need to use a washroom he's just like go to the ladies room this is the men's washroom I'm like but I really need to use a washroom and then I found out that he was a security guard after the fact he grabbed my hand and he he grabbed it so hard it was so tight and it hurt so bad I'm just like you know let go of my hand he's like get out of here like go like you know just leave and I'm like okay let go of my hand first you don't need to like you know hold on to my hand but next thing I know it, I said let go my hand <laughs> he got pissed off he picked me up <laughs> I'm like, let me go, let me go. She's only five two, okay? <laughs> Picked me up and uh, took me out of the club, basically. Anyways, we're done with that story. <laughs> um, my so, story, there's too much, there's too much to talk about. That's like something for a whole, like, a, actually, entire video. That's like actual story. You know what? I'll do that. I'll do that and story time because okay. that was pretty long. So, anyways, never have I ever. Stalk somebody. I don't do that. I don't stalk. I don't do those no. things. That's too much work. Yeah. If there's, if you feel like there's a need to stop, then we. Yeah, that's too much work. Man. That's how I feel. So, anyways, never have I ever got drunk and regret it. <laughs> I have, uh... I just don't like the feeling. That feeling of feeling sick. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't, like, I don't like it either. That's like, like for me, that's like, that's like literally an entire video for me to talk about that. <laughs> but now I have changed my ways, you know, I don't really, I don't do that no more. Mm -hmm. I'm done. Those days are beyond, beyond me now. <laughs> Anyways, never have I ever thought about leaving my significant other. My spouse. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, eh? Yeah, eh? You have the same thing. Yeah, eh? You gotta believe me? Of course. Are you gonna leave me for? Huh? Why? Yeah. This guy is a lot to handle. He's, he's a lot to handle, you know. But, like, you know, because I know that he's God sent, that God sent him to me. That's the only reason why I held on tight. If it wasn't for that, I would have left him long time ago. I would have left him. In the beginning, in the beginning years of our relationship, um, it wasn't easy. It wasn't easy. And thankfully, you know, church was there. We were going to church and you know, and it has helped us. When God is in the mix, this will always stay tight. So um, I thank God for for being there. And I feel that, you know, in a lot of relationships, if you don't have God in the mix, it won't it won't have that strong tower. It won't have that strength. So I thank God for everything. But um but yeah. I ain't gonna go forth, you know, and put him on blast right now. But yes, I have thought about it. So you thought about it, eh? Um, it's getting hot. Like, look at this. I'm sweating. This man is sweating. Why are you sweating? Yo, it's hot. I don't know. I'm hot. <laughs> he, hot. I guess he's in the hot seat. That's why he's kind of <laughs> nervous. Why? Why? Yeah. So, so you, you felt like, yeah, when? I'm gonna take a break. Guys, it's bad. Oh my gosh. I wish we no. I, I was gonna say I wish we had a video for it so you could see that moment. 
Um, it was like maybe six, seven months into our relationship. Seven months? Or six? Or five? Or five? Or four? No, okay, no. probably four, mm -hmm. five. Into our relationship, okay? And this guy was acting weird. And I'm like, why is he acting weird? So I'm like, can we talk about this? So I called him and I'm like, can we talk about this, you know? And he said, okay, come over. So I went over and he was eating his food. I'm like, so what's up? What's going on? And he's there eating and eating. I'm like, I asked him a couple questions in regards to like, could it, is it because of this? Is it because of that? And then I went to the question that I didn't want to ask him. Is it because you want a break? break up and then he puts his fork down and and breathe in and breathe out hard and I'm like so you want a break he's like yeah I'm like what do you mean like why so go on go on speak now <laughs> um pretty much you know I wanted a relationship, but I was looking for one, but when this one came, I thought it was like literally too good to be true. So that's what it was. It was just, you know, when you're a guy, and, or even for girls, same way, you know, you find something you feel like it's too good to be true, and then it's like, you never had that before, you ever thought you could actually achieve or like, achieve that, or if somebody actually loves you like that, that's not willing to hurt you or anything like that. It was just, it was something weird, and at the end of the day, that's why I think a lot of guys sometimes, you know, end up doing other things like breaking up or cheating on all that stuff because you just not used to something like that. I love you used to somebody loving or caring about you like that. So honestly but my my thing that when I really seen like you know that she was one for me is literally that same night after that situation. You know, it was actually raining outside, it was so weird. It was raining outside and I felt like I followed her downstairs to her car. And then did I follow you downstairs? First of all, let me just highlight that I'm just like, so you don't want to be with me? And he's just like, I grab the bag, start packing my clothes inside that plastic bag. And I'm like, in my head, you know, ladies, you want to you see if he's going to allow you to pack your bag, right? Well, you're testing me. Okay. I was testing him. <laughs> you know what he did? He grabbed my bag. I'm like, okay. So he grabbed my bag to say, no, stop packing. He grabbed my bag to help me pack my bag. He held it. And I'm like, this guy is holding my bag. So I continue to pack the bag. I grab my bag. He's like, let me hold your bag to walk you downstairs. I'm like, what? To walk me downstairs? I, I took my bag and I ran down the stairs, okay? Got to my car and I'm like, okay, maybe he's running downstairs to say, no, don't leave. He ran behind me as I got to my car. He ran behind me to tell me, drive home safe it was raining what do you want me to tell you like it was raining i just slap him i got into the car i turned on my ignition and let me tell you Yo. something i stepped Yo. on that gas okay i stepped i peeled out and made sure that dust fly back on this man Yo, I just... <laughs> Yo, honestly <coughs> That car is okay. Honestly, so what was that? 90, 96? Or the, what, what year was it? It was a 99. A 99 was it? Um, Acura. 1.6. Yeah. So I actually went upstairs and I could hear this car because, you know, a little, a little too far from my house. You could hear this car going on the highway. You sound like it was like some real expensive car, but on that night, you know, her, like after she left, um, I went upstairs. Like I went upstairs and I'm like, you know, I'm like, what did I do? You know, and then I started, you know, thinking. You know what kind of mistake I what kind of mistake I made, and literally I was literally calling her down right after. Like as soon as she left, I was literally calling her down right after. But she didn't answer my call, and then eventually she answered my call, and then we actually got talking, and yeah, we um, was all the issue. It was more, it obviously was my part. It's just in fact, you know, I was single for much years, you know, meet different girls, but I was never in a relationship. I was talking to girls, I was never in a relationship. You get to you know? be true. You see, men, you guys let things go. But it's the same thing for females, so you can't say just man. It's the same thing for females too. Fine. Same thing for payment. Yeah, it's the same thing. Anyway, let's move on. <laughs> anyway, let's move on. Okay. Never have I. Hold on, this is the first time actually talking about this. Like, really talking, like, from that one time, it's the first time actually talking about it. Yeah. Yeah, you know, because you know, you don't like bringing negativity to a relationship, right? Yeah, I know. 
<laughs> Never have I ever stole money from each other. Uh, Our money, my money is his money, his money is my money. So I leave money yeah. around and I tell him, listen, if there's, if you need money, there's money there. He leaves money around, I take his money. I don't feel like it's stealing. Yeah, it's not stealing. At the end of the day, she tells me to she took the money, but I take, but I took, and I barely like to even touch the money in the first place. So I don't yeah, swear. I am not to do that. So if that's like her money literally be sitting out here for like at least like two, three, she's not a person, she like money to sit in there, just laying here. And I like I pick it up, you know, sometimes your friends come over, like, you know, let's pick it up in the room or something like that. But at the end of the day, her money's my money, and my money's her money, so that's so easy. This question, I don't even know how this question even got on the list. Never have I ever farted and pooed leaked out. <laughs> That's you all the time now. So it's like really putting myself in a very bad situation by saying that. Because the other day I was at the gym, and you know, somebody, like, I know I know the person that farted. I knew I know the person that farted because he did my tactics. My tactics when I'm at the gym and I pass gas, I literally walk around everywhere so everybody think, I think that it's them. But I'll, do, I'll walk very quickly, you know, like, I'm not gonna make sense, like, suspicious, but I'll walk around and just make the smell, the smell mingle, and everybody smell up all at the same time. So then everybody's like, who, who did that? But I, somebody did that to me the other day, man. I didn't like that. <laughs> I didn't like it. <laughs> so stupid. <laughs> Anyways. Um, Cause, you, know, so, cause, you know what happened? Because there's a girl working up beside me. And she looked at me. She thought it was me. <laughs> oh my god. I didn't think it smelled so bad. Like, I'm like, shit. Nah. But yeah, that happened. Sorry. Right. Never have I ever ride a motorcycle. Oh. I have. I have. I plan on getting one this summer too. Yeah. We want to get our, our license, so we're going to get a bike and ride. These questions are making me really hot, man. Yeah? Never have I ever looked through someone's phone without permission. <laughs> so, Abby? Huh? 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 <laughs> Everybody has. I think everybody has. Super. Anyways. Never have I ever regretted a relationship. Wait. Oh, I have, man. I have. I guess I have, but you know what? I would say I have, well, not low key, but I have not. How so? Only because, like, you know what? I feel like every relationship I've gone on, uh, I feel like, you know, whether good or bad is for a reason. True, true, true. You know? So, you can never really regret something, I feel, because it makes you stronger and it makes you more knowledgeable of 
what to look for in a relationship All right. or the keys. All right, on that aspect of it then, yes, because yeah. you know, the girl that I was talking to at the time, she was, she was so, like, I thought I was a liar, but man, she put the, I, she put like, I don't know, she's on a different level. She lied about everything. Like, she was like, oh, like, it was a little long distance relationship. She lied about being in Toronto. She lied about um, that she's coming, like, you know, she's coming here and she's at her uncle's house, like, literally, like, 20 minutes away from me. Then I call her damn. I call her work from because she was a manager at Mother's or Ruffers? No, Mother's or <laughs> Mother something or Motherhood something. It's, it's, a, it's for a pregnant woman. Motherhood maternity? I can't remember. Something like that. Anyways, so she told me she was in Toronto. And I'm something, and somebody just told me, like, you know, this caller off this phone to see if she's there. I called her off this phone, she picked up the phone. Da -da -da -da, how may I help you? I'm like, I thought you said you're in Toronto. <laughs> yeah, she, she lied. I had to cut her off because um, what happened was, okay, real talk, this is what happened. So a lot of times, you know, we're in relationships and we don't really, really realize that we're distractions. So what happened in my situation was, like, the, um, the left side of my face started hurting, particularly around here. That side of my face started hurting, and I thought it was like a toothache. So, you know, I went to the I went to the, the actual doctor before, and the doctor and the dentist is literally right in the same place. So I was sitting there waiting, and I'm like, you know, maybe this has to do with a toothache or something. Maybe it's my teeth. So I switched and I went over to the dentist and went inside. I sat down in his chair, and he's like, "Well, your teeth's perfectly fine." He's like, "Have you been stressing?" I'm like, "No." He's like, "Honestly, whatever you're feeling right now has to do with stress because that's the reason why the side of your teeth is hurting you." He's like, "You know, a lot of times when you're going through stress in your life." Her, her body doesn't shut down completely because we're stressing yeah. so it just keeps on running so what happened was at night time I was grinding my teeth in my sleep I was grinding my teeth so that's the reason why my side of the face started, my side of my face started hurting and it was just getting really really bad so I mean that he told me that because I know stress could kill you so after he told me that I came out at a dentist's place and I called up that girl man told her I was done I don't have to deal with that headache yeah. I'm not like listen if you're in a relationship it, it shouldn't be so stressful to the point that you're having headaches and you know, you have to go see a doctor taking medications. No, that's not that's not healthy, first of all. That's not healthy. It's happening now, you imagine when you know 10, 15 years on the road. It's probably gonna drive you through something else. So let's move on. One more thing. And if that damn girl is watching, you know what I'm gonna say. I can't sit on camera, but yes. <laughs> Anyways, never have I ever chocolate. <laughs> Uh, oh man, you need to write up all these questions. I have years ago. Okay, let's move forward. I think we're taking too long for this. All right. Too good. Yeah. This. What else you have? Never have I ever been cheated on. I think. I think. Anyways. That's it. Yeah, that's it. All right, guys. So, I didn't appreciate some of the readers' questions that she had. <laughs> I didn't appreciate some of them. But um, if you guys like the video, like, comment, subscribe, share. Let us know. Give us some topics that you like. This that you guys want to talk about. Um, if you see me in the gym and you smell anything disgusting, it's not me. It's not me. So who would it be? It could be you. I don't know. You said you said you do the same thing too. <laughs> it could be her. Okay. It could be her. Whatever. Right? But like I said, like, comment, subscribe. We're going to do another video because, you know, just for asked by some of those questions, that gave us an idea for another video. So we're going to do another video right after this as well. So catch you guys on the flip side.